Dear friends, the year of this report was a year of experiments and new initiatives. We had a lot of innovations both in association work and the whole HMB movement. We faced new challenges and achieved new objectives. We start with the main event for the HMB community, Battle of the Nations 2017. The world's number one medieval fighting tournament, Battle of the Nations 2017, was held at the historic, legendary bullfighting ring La Monumental Arena in Barcelona, Spain. It was the first major event of any kind at this venue in the last seven years, and we had to rebuild the inner part of the arena to comply with safety standards. It was a huge task, but we knew that it was a smart investment of time and resources. We are proud that the sport of HMB had the honour of opening the doors of La Monumental Arena for the first time after such a long sabbatical. Around 800 fighters from 32 countries joined Battle of the Nations in Spain. The triathlon category was divided into four separate categories and as a result we had 10 dual and three official Pahut categories. Despite the huge number of fights, we still managed to hold Battle of the Nations 2017 in just three full days. Two lists were built specifically for this championship and they were used simultaneously throughout the days of the event. We had three separate online streams for English, Russian and Chinese speaking communities with a peak of over 1.3 million users watching the final battles online. We eagerly look forward to Battle of the Nations 2018 and hope to see you there. Returning to the projects that HMBIA was involved in during this reporting year, we proudly present our work with the International Olympic Committee, which will be fundamental for taking our movement to new heights. Within this vector of activity, we have already completed the following. Created a project group, gone through in detail the cooperation with International Olympic Committee, started official recognition of HMB national federations. This is a very important development vector for our movement, so we are confidently moving forward with it. Closely related to this, national federations are what bring our international work groups together, so each participating nation has a say in the development of the sport on a national and international level. Within the framework of the Olympic Committee project, HMBIA started close official cooperation with local national federations of the HMB movement and national participants. We have developed a list of primary responsibilities and duties for national federations, based on which an association agreement was created. For the moment, a number of national federations have officially signed the agreement with HMBIA, and others are in the process. We are happy to announce a growing number of officially recognized countries on a regular basis. HMBIA would like to draw special attention to the efficient work of the French Federation of Bohorn, HMB USA and HMB Russia. Outstanding work, guys! National movements of HMB have a huge task in progressing with our sport on a professional level, but the future is in the hands of the youth of today. Each country must now focus on bringing HMB to the younger generations. Youth sport development is a key factor of overall HMB growth. Therefore, HMB Soft got a new breath of life this year. The working group formed specifically for this project achieved huge results. Developing HMB Soft Discipline Rules and Regulation Set, held a tournament in Minsk and St. Petersburg, organized a special HMB Soft training area at the venue of Battle of the Nations 2017. At the moment, we are working on the organization of the Junior HMB World Championship among HMB clubs and schools that will be held on the 25th of November in Prague, Czech Republic, plus a series of HMB soft trainings and workshops. We believe that this is one of the most important fields of HMB strategic development. Therefore, we encourage everyone to participate in the World Championship and have an active position in frames of HMB soft development in their countries. No matter what level participants compete at, from HMB soft to Battle of the Nations Bohorts, nothing could possibly guarantee professionalism without marshals to ensure the safety and sportsmanship at each event. The Marshals Committee has gone through some radical changes and requires close attention to maintain standards. A new structure of the committee was implemented this year. We decided to create a Knight Marshals Council represented by George Yurchaks, Oleg Lukyanov, Ilya Shaw, Matsey Grail, Alexei Harbanchenka, Vitaly Makarian. Additionally, Marshal Supervisor Sergei Miasischov, 
Huge work on documents was done during this year by the Marshals Committee. The rules set for separate dual categories and technical requirements for weapons were developed and then implemented at events. The annual Marshals Summit was held on 1st of April 2017. It also had a new format of online conference that allowed more people to join the event. In fact, more than 75 representatives of the HMB movement attended the summit. This conference was dedicated to the explanation of rules and regulations and for the examination of candidates to become international marshals. As a result, only two of 50 applicants achieved the goal and obtained the International Marshal Certificate. For Battle of the Nations 2017, the Marshals Council selected the 36 best marshals in the world to guarantee as much fair refereeing as possible. A further 10 trainee marshals got the chance to pass the practical examination at Battle of the Nations. Working closely with the Marshals Committee, the Authenticity Committee is the element that keeps our sport historical. Without the incredible work they do, our integrity would be in question. Right after the HMBIA Summit 2016, the committee developed and implemented updates of the rules and regulations regarding authenticity requirements. Before Battle of the Nations, the online check of the participants was done by the Authenticity Committee in cooperation with the Marshals Committee. Furthermore, the historical costume and armour contest was organised by members of the Authenticity Committee at Battle of the Nations 2017. The Development Committee is the engine room of our movement. They work to solve problems and make improvements to current working systems so that our events are optimised for the organisation team, fighters and the audience. As discussed at the summit in 2016, websites of the association and its projects had to be revamped. Therefore, the Working Group of the Development Committee created the concept of the web portal that will unite all HMBIA brands together. The Development Committee made an invaluable contribution to the project of National Federation's recognition, which helped to get current results and create a base for future growth. Furthermore, a mandate has been created to help national captains carry out their responsibilities more efficiently and through more open communication with the association. And once again, we had three live streams for English, Russian and Chinese audiences, which meant outstanding PR for the HMB movement. But that's not all we have to show for it. The work of PR and marketing continues throughout the year. There is never time to rest. Part of this work involves keeping up to date with the latest and most effective marketing strategies across different fields, ensuring HMB is ahead of the game. The main goals of the PR and marketing committee for the reporting period were improving communication with the audience, strengthening HMBIA and Battle of the Nations brands, to achieve these goals, we realised the integration of the Facebook Instant Articles tool to the Battle of the Nations website, tested a new model of cooperation with freelance journalists, launched the landing page for Battle of the Nations 2017 and worked on optimization of the committee's structure. We obtained very positive results. The total number of followers rose by 22.5%. The average reach increased by 116.25%. Relying on superb communication skills, the Tournament Committee is a key point of reference before and during the events for the organisation team, technicians and national teams. Without this committee, Battle of the Nations would not be what it is today. As we know, tournaments and competitions are our ultimate goal and therefore one of the most important elements for the HMB movement. The Tournament Committee constantly supports and consults HMB event organisers. During this period, we helped organise a number of HMB tournaments, including hugely successful events like Tournoi de la Citadelle, which was held on 15th and 16th of April in Carcassonne, where we tested an all-play-all -all system for our sports. It was hard, but 16 teams challenged themselves. On the 23rd and 24th of September, the main tournament of South America was held in Buenos Aires. Copa HMB Argentina becomes a traditional event for the continent. Right now, we are in the final stages of preparation to the International Tournament of Chivalry 3, which will be held in Springfield, Illinois, United States of America, on 13th and 14th of October 2017. We pay huge attention to this vector of development. Therefore, an international tournament system that would take the movement to a new sports level was developed. For Battle of the Nations 2017, 
The committee worked on the phenomenal task of the draw, developing the time schedule and forming the highly experienced team that ruled the tournament. 2017 was a very challenging year for HMBIA. It is only the end of September and we still have two months of active work. However, during the reported period, we achieved crucially important goals. Organized the biggest battle of the nations to date with around 800 fighters from 32 countries. Developed a plan of cooperation with the International Olympic Committee. Started official recognition of national HMB federations around the world. Developed a new platform for junior HMB sport, HMB Soft. Improved the operational work of HMBIA committees. Supported HMB tournaments. This was only made possible by the committed participation of our worldwide team of experts and enthusiasts. We are happy and proud of the results, but there is still a lot of work to be done. The year ahead brings new challenges and heights we aim to achieve. We therefore encourage you to join the team and accelerate HMB sport development on a global scale.